In today's video, I'll be showing you how to hopefully fix VRAM capping issues and page file errors when it comes to playing Call of Duty Warzone on your Windows 10 PC or laptop. The first thing you're going to want to do is just ensure you have the latest updates installed for Windows 10. To check this, all you need to do is open the start menu, type in update and click on check for updates and then just go ahead and click on check for updates. If there are any new updates, then Windows will then begin to install those updates, restart your PC, and then the next thing you want to do is just make sure you have the latest graphics card drivers installed for your graphics card. I will put a link in the description below to our website, which will have lots of helpful links that you may need. The next thing you're going to want to do is check the video memory scale for Warsaw. To do this, all we need to do is open up File Explorer and you now need to open up your Documents folder. You now need to open up the Call of Duty Modern Warfare and you now need to open up Players and you're now looking for this file at the top which will say ADV and then underline options.ini. You now need to right click on this file and go Edit. You need to open this file up with Notepad. Before we go any further though, don't forget to subscribe and help this channel out. We have been doing incredible and hit 40,000 subscribers not so long ago and that was thanks to all your help, so every subscribe really does help. Once you are in this file, you will now see an option that says Video Memory Scale. You will now see the default value of 0 0.85. We now need to go ahead and change this number you need to slowly increase the number. So I would now go ahead and recommend you up it to say 0 0.90 and then go file and save and now launch Call of Duty Warzone and see if that has helped with the VRAM error and see if that has helped with the smoothness and stuttering issues in game. If you are still having those issues and getting the errors then go ahead and change the value up to 0 0.95 and then maybe 1.00 and just work your way up. You can increase it even higher to say 1.10 or 1.20 but remember it is only adjustable to how capable your graphics card is. So if you keep whacking it up then you may then start to encounter issues. So I wouldn't recommend going up too high. And just basically just have a play with that setting until you find the sweet spot. The next thing we need to do is close all this down. And you now need to open up the start menu. And you need to type in performance. We now need to click on adjust the appearance and performance of windows. And you now need to go across to advanced. And you now need to click on change under virtual memory. And you now need to ensure this is on automatic. If yours isn't on automatically manage page and file size for all drives, go ahead and select this option and then press OK and then apply and you will need to restart Windows. So go ahead and restart Windows and once you have done that, go ahead and launch Warzone and with a bit of luck that would have fixed the page file errors you may be getting. The next thing you want to do is just ensure your memory is fitted correctly in your PC. So you will need to take the case apart to check this and also be careful when taking the computer apart because you don't want to damage anything inside the machine. So if you're not confident in doing this, then don't do it. Ask someone that is able to do it. So yeah, you just want to basically make sure the RAM is seated correctly on your motherboard because if it's not, that will cause issues in Call of Duty. If you are still having problems with the game not working correctly, then unfortunately the only other thing we can do now is repair the game files. And this will, with a bit of luck, fix the problems you're having. To do this, all you need to do is open up the battle.net app. Once the app is open, you now need to click on the settings cog under Warzone. And you now need to go ahead and click on scan and repair. And you then need to click on begin scan. This will then begin to scan all the files for Warzone and see if any of them are missing or corrupted and if it detects any issues it will then try and repair them. If this didn't resolve the issue 
then the only other thing I can suggest is make sure you don't have any programs running in the background like MSI Afterburner and stuff like that as they can cause a lot of issues when it comes to stuttering, lagging, freezing or even crashing and getting page file errors and stuff like that in Call of Duty War so. So I hope this video did help. If you did enjoy this video and it helped you, don't forget to hit the like button below and also subscribe. Like I said at the start, subscribe if you would like to see more videos like this. I will see you all in the next video.